I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. It's been a minute. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I wanted to hit it and quit it, meaning that God has been putting something on my spirit uh, for a long time. And believe it or not, what God is doing in this season is that everything is getting in alignment. Everything is getting in order. Everything and everyone. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I want to propose something to you today. Um, when I was visiting Las Vegas, something did happen that was very unique. I was asked a question, and the question was simple, but yet so real to me. All right, and I'm going to ask you the same question as well. Have we forgotten? Okay, the whole Bible is important. We know that. But well, there was only 10 things written with the finger of God. I'm going to say it again. Ten things that was written with the finger of God. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what they are. I know you can't see them. The Ten Commandments. So, my question to you. When the last time someone showed you the Ten Commandments? Or we even read them? Or you even know them? I challenge every last one of you. Do you even know what the first one is? Be real now. And, and look, don't feel bad. Most of the church has forgotten. This is what we got to come back to. See, we've we, we, we been all over. We've been preaching, teaching, preaching. But we forgot the simplicity of what he is saying to do. I'm going to read them to you. The first one is, thou should have no other gods before me. That's idolatry. That means anything you put before God is your God. Two, thou should not worship any graven image. They're going to get mad, Lord. Mary, Joseph, those little figurines y'all be wearing around y'all neck. Don't get mad at me. I'm reading the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Let's keep on. Thou shalt not take God's name in vain. Y'all know how y'all say God and then a bad word behind his name or even swearing. You're not supposed to do that. And, and hold on. This is not a judgmental thing. This is something, simplicity, just to let you know how far we've gotten from God. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me continue. The fourth one is this. Remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. Now, there's a discrepancy. Most people think Sunday, no, Sunday is not. Constantine did that. I can go back. That that's going to take a long time, and i got to go to class. But the Sabbath is from Friday evening to Saturday evening. End of story. And notice, that's in most people's party, Friday and Saturday. Oh, the world did a good job. Did a good job keeping us from this y'all know it's true let me continue oh lord they're not gonna like me this is why so many people young people are dying and again we're not on here to judge bash and point no finger because we all fall short of this let's be real but when god brought this to me i knew i said oh we in trouble as a whole because i can't tell you when the last time i heard a sermon on the ten commandments oh let's keep on going so I said, one, two, three, four, number five, honor thy father and thy mother. That's why these young kids are, are dying, and it's not funny. You cannot disrespect, this is commandment. Y'all know what a commandment is? Commandment means, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you, you need to keep them, or else we're going to have some trouble. That's pretty much what God said. And that's how, remember when he wrote them? How they got destroyed because Moses threw them down. He said, those that not, will not live by the word should die by the word. That is still true today. Let's continue. So I went one, two. I'm going to read them again. The, the seventh one. Now, that's, that's, this is something else now. Um, thou should not kill. It does not matter. It does not matter. Self-defense or whatever. Thou should not kill. Thou should not commit adultery. I don't even know if y'all want me to explain that one. Because it's self-explanatory. But we will find everything. Well, you know, they're they not together. <laughs> they married. God says, for what I have joined together, let no man put asunder. Okay, let's continue. Thou should not steal. That means even on your taxes. That means even hours at work. I'm just reading the Ten Commandments. Thou should not bear false witness. Now, y'all know people be lying. Just lying. What have we done? And the last one, thou shalt not cover. That means take somebody else, husband, wives, or anything that belongs to them. So, so this is the Ten Commandments. This is what 
I, I want to I wanna challenge you. Do you know them? And this is an old one, right? Do you know them? Have When the last time you even recited them? When is the last time you even read them? Read them one more time before we close. The Ten Commandments. The first one again is, Thou should have no other gods before me. That's why the world is coming in trying to make us love everything but God. Mm -hmm. That's why they give us television. Second one, thou should not work in any grave, worship any graven image. <sighs> I'm going to tell y'all how, how I know this one is very true. I had a little black Jesus. It was about 20 years ago. And I used to just love that thing. One, thing, one, one day that thing just fell and broke by itself. And I, I ain't going to lie, I was scared. I was like, I knew then. I said, wait a minute. I'm not supposed to have nothing like that. I'm just being real. The third one, thou should not take God's name in vain. Fourth, remember to keep the Sabbath, keep it holy. Five, honor thy father and thy mother. I don't care how old you get. Hmm. Six, thou should not kill. Seven, thou should not commit adultery. Eight, thou should not steal. Nine, thou should not bear false witness. And ten, thou should not cover. This is what we got to go back to, says the Lord. Tell me what does say the Lord. This is not Deanna. Just having something to do up on here. Read them. Go back to them. I got it on my wall. Read it every t every time I pass the wall, which I got to go to the kitchen. <laughs> Keep them before you, said God. God says we've gotten away from them. Church don't even teach on them no more. You can't tell me the last time you heard somebody say something about no Ten Commandments. Because I haven't heard it. Whew. Short, powerful, and to the point, huh? So I'm going to start being back on here. I want y'all to know I have a Rumble account. And I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be on Rumble. Let's get ready to Rumble. <laughs> Some already not going to sh shoot me down, right? Shut me up. All right, y'all know what time it is. Rule out soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless. I missed you guys. Have a blessed one. Learn these to Ten Commandments, for real. All right. Bye-bye, you guys.